hi everyone and welcome back so in this video let's see how our home service looks like we already have these two services let's write this so it's another graphql service which we are going to use with the schema first approach and it's some somewhat duplicate here we are going to deal with the different entities like uh, here it was user entity here it will be a house facility and the location like what is the location of the house what all facilities you are providing in that particular house and the housing entity so we will just go through the demo we will not write much code in this video because we are going to have a simple demo to understand how this works so this is already running on i think 5002 port and this is running on 5007 this is running on 5006 and we already have these different database like uh, this is using auth api and this is using home api we already have a docker compose for that so in the root of the project i will just zoom this a little bit so you can see it more clearly so this was our docker compose override when you are doing docker compose up all these databases are coming up with all the different database like uh, here we are using the booking manager database auth api database home uh, database you just need to do docker compose up and these are the different ports so auth apis for the host you will use 5431 for the home manager api you will you will use 5433 so always take care of these environment variables like for host service here is your database uh, port and this is your database name similarly for your home service what will be your database url is the host port is 5433 and this is your database name your port can be 5400507 if the auth service is using 5006 okay so now things are clear it is running on 06 or 07 both are using their own different database you will just use npm run start on both these services and then we will start the gateway service because we are using introspect and compose so that needs both the graphql endpoints already hosting the graphql schema so we already running the auth service auth service is already running this is our auth service and what we need to do is first we will take a look on what this home api is providing okay so home api is like uh, the clone of the user service auth service here i just have a couple of more attributes more entities like the home entity location and the localities facilities sorry and you can see here the same db module config module logger module so i am not going to repeat anything of the same because we have already talked about all those things f module here is a domain and inside domain module we have all these modules imported i will talk about just a home entity and home module because rest all are same i will talk about dot graphql what it how it looks like so here we are using home entity home schema this is the dot scheme dot graphql file for the home module so this is the home entity or home uh, schema and the name locality is pointing to the another type facility is pointing to home facility so which is another type already defined here you can see there is a facility just like CRUD operation and then there is another is locality which is talking about the location states uh, city area and all here is what important point is how we are doing the user referencing so first of all how we are defining the type so this user is coming from auth service and this is how we can extend the type extend type user at the rate key field id and id is external because this whole thing is coming from an external service and here we are going to use this type in the user because what we are doing is we will be creating a home updating home deleting a home we will be creating a locality and the facilities for this home okay this home is located in this area so there is another entity record these are different facilities this home provides their images like the swimming pool uh, number of rooms uh, all these uh, facilities and their images so here this is how we will extend the user and then rest all these are the queries okay give me all the active homes find home based on the name give me all the active homes and then the mutations create home update home 
and similarly we have these custom home inputs like home input is this name description active payload of this home input similarly we have locality which is about location so this is home locality this is also extending using the user uh, schema because here who created this locality so i'm just referencing the user here and then just uh, all queries all the localities simple locality and home locality input like while creating a home you need to provide a locality okay what is the city uh, what is the home id because first you create a home and then create a locality because you create a home through the apis and then define the the location of the home okay i just created a simple home with the name and description now i will be putting more information about the address city state zip code and all the other information and this is the mutation create locality update locality so why i'm talking about these is these are like three different entities we have in the home service locality facilities and the home let's focus more on the home home.graphql here this is how we are referencing this is the important part rest all is same rest all it is just another graphql service with some couple of entities and we are using the same type of rm modules and all and here this is how we are referencing it so how when when i'm trying to create a user or a delete a user fetch a user how this user reference get resolved that we are going to define inside a resolver so resolver inside resolver we will be defining all the queries and the mutation we have create home update home and give me all the active homes find home and all let's talk about the resolver resolver is simple here we are using these guards jwt auth guard and admin guard that means only admin user with admin permissions can do this so i created a simple user and give a permission admin to that that means now this user has an access and this admin guard won't create any problem the important point here is let's say i'm creating a home how do i know that who is the current active user and in this microservice i just need to pass the user id i don't need to pass the whole user payload i just need to create a reference so it's like a loose foreign key i'm creating in the home microservice we already have a user id which i'm getting from the uh, request headers because i have already set these headers in my gateway service so if you look at the gateway service here in the last video we discussed about it how we are setting these authorization user id and permissions so i'm sending this user id in the context request.http.headers authorization permissions and user id and from there i can access this user id inside my resolver so this is how context.request.headers and i can access user id and i can pass that user id while creating the home updating a home deleting a home okay so this is the these are this, this is just a way to access the context and we might be setting this context so if you look into the context.request.headers we are setting that in let's say go to home service here also it is using the same authentication guards and auth strategy and if i talk about the the main module this is the domain module and this is how it is passing the context whatever is coming in the request send that in the context so you can do console.log and check what is the coming inside a request.headers and the same headers i'm trying to use to access the properties like you might set some permissions you might set a user id and all so this is how i will populate the user and it's just it's just a loose for reference i don't have a user record i'm just putting the user id similarly here update home delete home the important part is this how we are referencing how we are resolving the user so when the when you request a user with the home entity how that user attribute get re get resolved in the graphql resolver this is how it will be done you will be returning a type name user and the id user id because in the home record home entity if you look into the home schema we are storing a user id uh, ta -ta -ta. create home so this is the home type and this is the user 
and we are storing a user id in the home so if you look into the entity yes this is important this is the user id so i already have a user id in the uh, home record so home dot user id and what it will do is at the graphql uh, apollo federation level this will look for this type name user user is referencing to a user microservice and this is the id so this auth microservice already knows how to resolve this particular reference and inside auth microservice so let's go to auth service there we'll go to simply resolver domain user user resolver so this is how we are resolving the reference whatever the the microservice level reference is coming that is getting resolved here so here resolve reference user and the user service dot find one by user id and reference dot id okay these are the microservice level resolver so let's say the when you are sending a request to uh, polo federation you need a get user by id so you need to have this resolve reference available at the target microservice and at the source microservice where you are doing this stitching so i'm talking about the home service how we are writing the resolver is we are referencing we are resolving this field user and how we can resolve it we, it, it depends on we just returned something like this and apollo federation will check okay type user and this is the id so it knows how to resolve this data how to how to call the target microservice which is auth microservice and get the user data for it similarly there can be another respective microservices and you can just use like let's say the file microservice and i wanted to get the the file record based on the home id like the the, the images and the pictures about the home for that you need to have a home microservice and all and similarly you will define the resolve reference inside a home resolver also let's say if somebody some some other microservice is using this home reference then how this microservice will resolve its reference if somebody is asking for give me home by id so resolve this is the reference and this is how it will resolve these two parts are important how we access the headers how we are resolving the the references and how we are defining because this is going to call the auth microservice and how the auth microservice will be able to do anything with this because we have defined a reference resolve reference here inside this domain so this is src domain i'm talking about this particular resolve references so any external references coming with the user and the id will be resolved like this so, so if anyone else is using home uh, schema home id as the reference then this is how it will get resolved home resolver and here i have created this resolve reference so every microservice uh, exposing an entity should always define the resolve reference like get by id so from your record you will just get by id reference dot id now any other microservice can ref reference the user can reference home and all and these are just a schema files which has simple simply query and mutation and let's see this in the demo how it really works so currently what i'm doing is uh, this is auth service running on port 5007 this is our docker container this is our gateway service we will run this in the last this is our home service npm run start or npm run start dev this is our gateway service so first of all your schema should be correct because uh, gateway should be able to start only if everything is fine uh, both the services are up and running on their respective port here on the gateway what i'm doing is i'm passing this uh, another environment variable home api inside env these are the two different api endpoints we have home api and auth api so if i just try to access 5002 because this gateway service is running on which port 5002 so we will see that here on 5002 or we can also access the browser so 
okay here now there is a composition is happening because there are two microservices now if you can see there are queries and mutations 15 queries and 13 mutations which is way bigger than our auth service you can see now the all the queries and mutations provided by home microservice also composed here you can see now this is a big uh, schema composed schema has been there and now we have more methods available like give me all active homes facilities localities find homes create home update home delete home all these apis are there right so if i just go and we can just play around with this on our client tool this is the client i use altair client and if you just hit on the request and get the docs this is the these are the documents available so what we will do is we will just create a user simply we will just do a login so i already have a created a user created okay this is my token I will just set this in the authorization header and that's it now I can start creating the homes and all so first of all let's say the homes okay, this is query and inside a mutation I should see create home somewhere create user create home so when I'm creating home it's just taking uh, okay what is the description okay holiday homes crew name holiday trip or whatever and then these are the users so i just need at least the ids okay so i'm just creating an active home so when you do it you can see home is created and the user reference is also populated how that is happening i can show you a little bit zoom i cannot do the zoom is there any way okay here you can see this user reference is also populated how that is happening because once user is logged in we are sending the current logged in user id and then when you are returning this result this will try to resolve the reference of this user and will fetch the data from the user microservice and now if you try to get all the active homes available all the active homes i just need to see the id and you can see the whole user object is getting populated here so these are the two active homes we you can see is active locality and facilities we haven't populated yet but this is how the user object looks like this is the whole user object that gets populated with this uh, so here we are requesting the whole user object that's why and here we are just asking for the id but there is no facilities there is no locality and here we are asking for give me the whole user object who is uh, the owner of this active home so this is how we are able to populate it and how that is actually happening if you look into the whole schema it is sending a request to first a home microservice giving uh, give me all the homes and then every home has a user id and it is calling the user microservice to fetch the user related data okay so this is the what the, the magic is happening we can also check in the logs which service is getting a call i might be logging so this is the gateway and this is our auth service i mean the user service let's uh, put all these things and here i'm going to hit this again okay now let's check the logs this first one is our auth service and you can see there is a request coming in right resolve reference user so there is a request coming from uh, gateway to resolve the reference of user twice because there are two records and it is again this n plus one query problem because if you are trying to fetch the data for 10 different homes then there will be 10 different resolve reference to the target microservice 
and you will see the 10 record so you can see user entity and the user entity and this is how it will resolve the data and similarly from the homes okay obviously you are trying to fetch the home data and there is a lot of joins happening here give me all the facilities and the localities also so this is what we are hitting this home microservice and it is resolving the user reference through the user microservice so this is a simple demo how we aggregate the data how this Apollo Federation gateway is aggregating and composing the data for us what we are doing is we are just specifying the references and storing the data in such a way so that we can pass these IDs reference IDs and fetch the data across microservices so you can play around with this exam whole example there are like multiple queries create home update home delete home associate a localities uh, or facilities and uh, I mean the whole the whole CRUD operations so this is the demo I created for the POC purpose and this is how I'm showcasing it if you have any doubt or anything I will share the github repository link I will update this repository with whatever is needed every service needs to have this dot env I, I, I mean I can just push it what this dot env should have is the same secret and same expiry you can have a different port and the database is based on docker compose okay this is auth service gateway service and home service they all needs to have a dot env because we are reading the information from the dot env okay they can have a different port keep the jwt secret same so that uh, you can be able to decode the token okay so this is pretty much about the graphql uh, federation and how to build a nest.js services using graphql this is always fun i'm using the schema first approach but you can also use the code first approach to write your resolvers and your schema and write your graphical apis okay so that's it guys uh, thanks everyone thanks for watching